We got a few more to get through today. Uh, let's get to Osprey and Hangman Page. Oh, I'm sorry, not Hangman Page. Thank God. Osprey oh, and Shane. You won't wait. Jay Boston won't I'm sorry. He's, for, he's anyone just, everything. <laughs> for anyone just tuning in, we just talked about Hangman Page uh, invading the main event. But okay, look, we're going to MJF versus Osprey. So Osprey yeah. had some break dancers, I think, in his opening intro. And he had a video that was like narrated by someone who sounded like he was. You're putting on a fake accent, but I, no, I don't know. I, I could, no, I could tell. I could tell you what it is. It's uh, a, so it, it's Assassin's it Creed a, or something. Yeah, it was a collaboration with Assassin's Creed, and one the most popular character from that franchise. His name is Ezio. So mm. that that character was doing the was narrating um, this intro for Will Osprey. Okay, well so I'm glad somebody it enjoyed it. I didn't know what the hell yeah. they were doing, but. No. No, okay, no. here's a shot of the crowd. I don't know what the final attendance is. Maybe someone could look that up while we're doing this review today and talk about it later. But it looked pretty good. I mean, look, it didn't yeah. look like there was a bunch of empty seats or anything. So uh, here's Will Ospreay coming in, and here's MJF, I think. Or here's the fireworks. They always do the fireworks when Ospreay's coming out because they're trying to get him to re-sign with AEW. Here's the great American MJF coming in with... All American garb for you people on audio podcast listening who may not have seen this. He's just dressed like Apollo Creed, basically. <laughs> Pure American. Uh, here's him with the American title. Here's the American flag dropped all over the English stadium of Wembley. All right, let's jump into the match. I got some highlights. I'm not full full on review like we did for the Swerve Danielson match, but just a few things. Uh, here's... Uh, over the top rope attack by Osprey into a tombstone pile driver by MJF who catches him outside on the ring. So yeah, they did some pretty difficult things, high level wrestling. So you got to give it up for that. I will admit that they did re pretty well here in that regard. Here, here's a botch though from MJF. I don't know if you guys noticed this one. Yeah, I mean, from down because I didn't see it. I mean, I, to me, it looked dangerous because he just did it really fast. It was like a, a spin around into like a pile driver. He a jumps oh, yeah. up, and there's Osprey's yeah. head. You could see his head, like at yeah, the bottom. Yeah, that's dangerous. Of that's yeah. pretty dangerous. So, I don't know. Luckily, that's nothing how, happened. That's how Stone. That's how Stone Cold got injured. Yeah, he looked yeah. like his head was sticking out a little too far, and and luckily nothing happened to Osprey, and he was able to finish the match. But okay. I'll skip forward a little bit. Here's Osprey trying to catch MJF with the elbow on the outside off the apron, and he totally misses and wipes out the cameraman, which was awesome. But MJF used that opportunity to try to hit him with the belt, with the American title, while the referee is looking at the cameraman. And MJF does eventually get him with the belt. It doesn't end the match, though, but I'm just, I'm just uh, pointing out the – Important things that happen. Here's MJF's move, the Brain Buster, but Osprey kicks out of that one. Here's MJF's surprised face. Everyone had one today, but here's the ref bump. So the ref's going to go out when MJF is arguing with them, and this gives a, a chance for MJF to do something illegal, but I guess he was going to put the Tiger Driver on him. Like, that's some kind of illegal move? Is it illegal? I don't know. <laughs> well, Anyways. No. Yeah, so... Osprey reverses it. He's going to put the Tiger Driver on him. And then MJF low blows him. So there's definitely an illegal move that would have got him disqualified. <laughs> but, all right. Here's MJF <laughs> smiling after he did it. And he's going to hit him with what are the – it looks like knuckles, something that he's wrapped around his, his knuckles or his, to, to punch Osprey with. Did they ever explain who – wait. They st somebody stole his ring, right? That was the whole thing they kept saying. But was that was – that Never mind. Did but they somebody say stole that? His ring. Somebody stole his ring? I didn't hear that. They, I said, that that. they said that a couple times throughout the match. I don't know. Oh, what fuck. I did, not hear, I did not hear that, Vlad. That's news to man, me. Man, catch that. Maybe it was Daniel Garcia because a masked man <laughs> showed up. Thinking, but... And it did turn out to be Daniel Garcia who it, nailed MJF in the, the face. Ring. And yeah. No, he didn't hit him with the ring because. So I don't know. I don't know what the ring thing is about then. I don't. I didn't hear that either. I mean, I was kind of half paying attention to the show, listening. I was watching it, but, anyways. Yeah. So Daniel Garcia came out to interfere with this match. MJF 
surprised, looking at him, just turning away. And then when he turns around, uh, he gets nailed, I think, by Osprey's. But what is the move? That that elbow, the running elbow. I don't know the, the name of it. The hidden blade. The hidden blade. All right. So then, then he finally, the crowd goes insane, and he finally fucking hits the tiger driver on him with these crazy faces. And let, let's take a look at this dangerous move that should be should be banned as he drops MJF on his neck. I mean, I would suspect MJF has did a lot of exercises to strengthen his neck, knowing he was going to take a move like that, maybe. I don't, <laughs> that's a tough-looking move to take. But anyways, Will Ospreay with the win, thanks to Daniel Garcia. Ospreay's really happy, big win in front of his crowd. He doesn't take the American title from the belt, though. From doesn't take the American belt from the referee. He waits for Christopher Daniels to show up with the – storied international title and yeah there you go the legends that have carried that belt we'll yes go. It's a, yes it's, so, it'll be an in for me this was i i predicted that i predicted that they would bring back the international yeah. title because well, it's just makes sense. it's just too important but anyways robert gave this two thumbs up a high rating not our highest rating now but a high rating all right robert i got 90 seconds for you if you want to say anything you want about this match Okay, yes. So, well, starting off with the entrances, I, I just happen to be a really big Assassin's Creed, Creed fan, so there I really go. appreciated that. This was um, for you, Robert. Yeah, hell yeah, I loved it. <laughs> now, uh, on to the match itself. So, what, one of my concerns leading into this match was how they would be able to top their first match on that they had on Dynamite a few weeks ago because that was that was a really awesome match. I don't think they topped it. Uh, I don't think they probably didn't even match it either. Like, it, it was like it was 20 close, minutes. Close. Yeah, it was close. It, it was a better paced match than their first one, but I, I still feel like the highs of the first match was better than the highs of this match, personally. Uh, yeah. And also... Uh, that I don't know if you guys agree, but that that's that's how I see it. Uh, but it was it was a better paced match this one, and <clears throat> yeah, that that's uh, that Kyle Driver uh, that MJF did that that did look really really dangerous. I was actually concerned that uh, Will Osprey did get hurt for real. Yeah, but me too. you know it, it, apparently he was just fine. Hopefully nothing happened. I also. Uh, I don't know how I feel about the whole Daniel Garcia interference. I would have loved to see Will Ospreay win without that, mm. without the assistance from um, Daniel Garcia. But Man, I, didn't I love mind the it Daniel Garcia interference. The only thing okay. that sucked All about right. it was that he didn't dance. Oh, gosh, that would have made it worse. But <laughs> anyways, but yeah, uh, this is, for me, this was still a good enough match for, um, to warrant two thumbs up for me. Ahan would book like Vince Russo would book. That's the problem with Ahan. I would have had him suck MJF and then do the dance. All right. Vlad, you gave this. Uh, what yeah, I think I gave it one. one a thumbs, one thumbs up, up from Vlad. Still a good rating, but let's Still hear your thoughts rating. on Still this. a good rating. No, I mean, look, the match itself was good. The right person won. The crowd was going ape shit throughout it. They cared about it. Um, they put on a good show. I mean, what else can you say? These are these are the two most over wrestlers in the in the company in AW by far. Like, people care about what happens with these guys. Now, if you're asking who I prefer, it's not even a question. MJF is like far superior because a you can't understand a single word Osprey says on his promos. I'm sorry, you can't. Uh, and I prefer MJF's wrestling style to a, you know to Osprey, but obviously when Osprey is wrestling MJF, it's a little bit more realistic and it's a little bit more uh, believable and it's uh, easier to swallow than when he would be, let's say if he was wrestling Kenny Omega or I don't know, probably he's going to be wrestling Ricochet or whoever he's going to be wrestling in the future. Those are going to be just video game matches that I, I know I won't like. But here, a good match. Uh, did not top their match of Dynamite, no way, no how, but that's why you don't do that on Dynamite. If you, you know, you probably save your the best match for the for the in front of the fifty plus thousand people you're going to have that you drew in London. But whatever, you know, it's AW. I mean, good luck trying to figure that out. 
Um, the Daniel Garcia thing I hated because Daniel Garcia is a jabroni. Okay, he's a jabroni. Okay, I don't know how to say it. He's never gonna. Nobody gives a shit about Daniel Garcia, and now MJF is gonna have to be in a feud with this guy. Get the hell out of here, dude! And now they always want to push guys that are not over, and it's just Adam Page and Daniel Garcia. These guys are not over. Nobody gives a shit about them. Okay, that's my thing. And like, he's MJF now has to be in a feud with this guy. It's ridiculous. He's it's not good. It's not good. Uh, that part, I, if he wasn't involved, maybe I would have thought about giving it two thumbs up. But, yeah, he definitely did not help the situation at all. I understand that, yeah, he got beat up and whatever. He was getting his revenge and whatnot. But, yeah, who, it's Daniel Garcia. It's like, who cares, you know? That's how I feel about that. Well, look, Daniel Garcia in the storyline did get his ass kicked mercilessly and left yes. laying in his own blood. So, so it made sense that he would come in. Okay, I'll just say that I think the interference spot was well done. I think the ref bump was well done. I think it was a good match. That being said, good. I also give it a thumbs up, like flat. I just I save my two thumbs up for things that I really really like. So, um, I don't think it was necessarily a worse match than the dynamite match. I mean, just because something is an hour as opposed to 20 minutes doesn't make it better, but I don't think it, I don't think it was better or worse. I think it was <laughs> maybe equal. Um, we already saw the best that they had. So that, yes. that, I don't know. There you go. I'm, I'm curious where it goes. Cause I, I guess MJF is going to let go of Osprey and he's just going to get caught up with Daniel Garcia. And <laughs> that'll be the end of that. Christ. So, um, do unless, 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 well, they've already done a dance off. Just so <laughs> okay, right. They did have a dance. <laughs> <laughs> they did. They did. They did. They did. They did. Well, was this time, a... this time without Adam Cole. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with Adam Cole, you could not win a dance off. That's true. 